Nicola Ari Parker says she misses being single. She misses the single life. After she's been with Boris for 17 years, she wants more attention. I have a little video here I'm going to play for you. I, I, I don't understand why married women are out here telling the world. Let's go ahead and play this video. Sometimes in the last year or so, I thought, you know, I wish that he was my boyfriend again. I don't necessarily want to be single, but I miss the single life. I miss the text messages for no reason. Mm. I, I miss the coming up from behind me when I'm scrambling eggs and just kissing me on the back of the neck. Like, I still that do that, Boris. I still do that. Okay. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm being, um, you know. General. General here, but yes. I'm just saying that the, the trappings. There's a difference. There's definitely a difference. There's the trappings of being single. Like, okay. You two are really good looking people, okay? And you're married. And 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 we're married. There's people that flirt with you. And the part of the flirtation doesn't make you necessarily go the wayward. So I'm trying to figure out why she's telling the world this and not her husband. Good morning, beloved. Good morning, my remnants. I absolutely love you. Thank you for your love and support. We're going to read this article and we're going to talk about it. But when I heard her say this, let me tell you what I did. I went up behind my husband. He was in the um, kitchen uh, at the sink because our cleaning people are coming today. And I just went up behind him and hugged him and told him how much I love and appreciate him. I just do not think that married people should be putting your problems on social media for people to comment on. Because marriage is a covenant and your marriage should be protected. And this is why my husband and I, we believe in continual counseling. And I even played the video for him. He said, that's weird. Um, you know, I remember when my husband and my dad and I, we agreed, this is it. We're getting married. My dad said to me, whatever you did to get him, you need to keep on doing it. And he said it to my husband, my fiance at the time, whatever you did to get Janice's attention, you need to continue to do it. And so I do understand what Nicole is saying. Like you still want to get those text messages. And she's saying in the year, in the last year, as in COVID, a lot of marriage has been going through. <laughs> in COVID because you're stuck in the house and there's nowhere to go because the country was shut down. And even with our marriage counseling, the insurance company, they were not charging copay because they wanted married couples to get counseling because there were so many divorces. And, and I think that marriage counseling is the place for you to air your grievances about your marriage or what do you need or so on and so forth. I just do not think married people should be on social media about their marriage. I just, I just think that it shouldn't, it shouldn't be. Um. So you, you tell me what, 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 what she means. She says she missed the text messages. She misses being single. She misses uh, him coming up behind her. You know, and I think those are important things couples should do. A husband should still be texting his wife. Um, a wife should be texting and appreciating the husband. And you should be appreciating each other and loving each other. I don't think it should be where either are is missing out on something. You know what I mean? I just, I, I don't like it. I personally, I do not like it. And, um, you know, um, I even my husband said in the beginning he wasn't he wasn't texting as much, and I I told him sometimes I really want part of the flirtation that even makes you look at your phone hear from you Let me is go. or in your in your workspace is that they have like a freshness or a newness, and I personally believe that if you're in it for the long haul, that freshness and newness is still possible if you talk about it. Be mm. like, look, 
I know we talk about date night. We need to go have a date night. Right. I know we talk about like kissing and texting for no reason. But the last time you text me was over like, you know, the cabinet guy. <laughs> See. They, they need to go to marriage counseling. Boris needs to step it up. If you don't know, Boris is was my celebrity crush, but not in a not in a very sexual way. I just liked him. If I could if I could pick out a man that I wanted my husband to look like or to be like, it was Boris. And doesn't my husband look like Boris? <laughs> so my guy in my head was looked like Boris Kojo. Uh, smart, well-educated, like Barack, uh, Cory Booker, with a dash of Morris Chestnut. But unfortunately, Morris is nowhere to be found in my husband. Okay, so I, I, Boris is my guy. So I think there's a lot of couples that's going through this, and you have to maintain your marriage. I'm not going to read the article because I want to hear what you guys have to say about what she said. I think that. And I've said it here on my channel that mar your marriage is like anything else, right? You have to maintain it. It's like my hair. You see how different styles I've been doing with my hair because I want to give it a break from the braids and I'm trying to keep it out the whole month of March and then I'll braid it for April. It's like your body um, doing your physical, doing your blood work. It's like ladies, you know, once you get 40, we need to have our pap, pap, pap smear every year. And if you have cancer in your family, you need to do your pap smear, your mammogram every year. And ladies, we need to do our pap smear. We used to do it every year. Now they change it to every three years with the exception if you have some kind of family history or something. You know, you think about your truck, your vehicle. We have to maintain it. Okay, my husband, get the thing. It's time for you to come do an oil change, Mr. Thompson or um just just anything maintaining with your kids telling your kids every day i love you and hugging your children you know my daughter's 29 29 this year i don't hug her as much as i used to like i can't just grab little michael and hug but i make sure i say i love you and you know just doing things you need to do to maintain the marriage and and not just oh we're married now so that's it you know, like my husband will send me flowers just because. And the people at the job, well, what is it? Is your birthday or Mother's Day? No, it's just because. Or I'll text him or I'll just call him. You know, I'll cook him his his favorite meal. I think we need to maintain our marriages. And, and a lot of couples are where they are, where you did all those things when you were dating and to get get the mate but then when you get married you become lazy no you must maintain the marriage you must do date nights we do date days or whatever our kids are in school you know i'll take maybe a morning and i'll go to lunch with my husband or i'll take a half a day and um i will have lunch or or something um my husband's working from home now so it's just maintaining like in your marriage you should still date you should still have date night you should still buy gifts and doing things because that is maintaining the marriage it's not just oh we're married now and that's it no 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 there are things you need to do to maintain the marriage so i want to hear what you you say you have to say about this video and then maybe later tomorrow, I'll read the article and go a little bit more in depth. But I want to hear what she said. Tell me what you think about what she's saying. She misses the single life. She misses being single. She misses the text messages and him coming up behind you. You should still be doing those things when you are married. I absolutely love you. I put the naked wife here because there's a lot of na naked wives up here uh, that they're na not getting what they need from their husbands. And it is important. Remember, Please do not grieve your marriage grievances on social media for us to talk about. We're going to talk about it because it's in the news. But get you a marriage counselor. A black man, a woman, if your husband is a black man, I think you should try to get you, find you an older black man as a marriage counselor. Um, if not, just, just get a man. Okay? I, I think men responds better to men because they understand men. As women, I think we're a little bit more flexible. We can 
we can talk to men, we can talk to women and so on and so forth. But for men, I think it's better, especially for black men, try to find an older black man as a marriage counselor. And if you can't find an older black man, then just find a man counselor. I love you. Let me know what you think. I'll be in the comments. Talk to you later. Bye.